I'm also going to share this on my podcast because it's been a few weeks since I've actually done a live podcast. And the reason why, as you can probably, if you're inside the Facebook group, you can see there's been a whole facelift, a big change to the whole uh, grouping in the environment, really updating the, the name to set the culture and the tone of what it is that we're really creating in here, uh, which is all about awakening, healing and manifesting. And those awaken, heal and manifest is ultimately everything that I do in, in helping to guide you to bring that light back into your life and turn up that light so that you can create that um, wonderful experience for yourself and for others and, and really living your life on purpose in alignment with your life purpose your mission and creating that freedom for you emotionally mentally physically and um, financially as well so um i wanted to just really connect with you today hi for who's popping on lovely to see you and if you could make a comment down below if anything resonates with you let me know but i really wanted to there's a lot of new people in this group so i want to welcome you give you a big heart welcome and also to all my regular amazing women that have been working with many of you for hundreds of you for uh, the last two three years even and some of you a little bit shorter but i really love you so much and I'm looking forward to really uh, meeting and connecting with more of you new ladies coming in and um, I love you too and I'm just looking forward to deepening that relationship with you. So what is this group about ultimately? Well, it's about helping you to have the shift in consciousness that's required for you to really step into that new um, higher aspect of yourself to really connect deeply with the um, the essence of who you are and the whole awakening part of the uh, this, the process is really becoming aware, becoming much more conscious about what the programs that you've been running from and operating from in your life, right from, look, honestly, even before you've been born, because these are cultural programs, the societal programs, the genealogical programs, they're also your individual programs. But it's about awakening to these programs, these belief systems at the root core of who you are that have been fundamentally driving you and you've been operating from your entire life. We're a bit like icebergs. You know, the consciousness is about that real tip that you get to see. But the subconscious, which is what's running and operating our entire physicality, our energetics, that's like 95% hidden. And it's all below the surface. And most of us haven't got that awareness around what it is that's really driving us. And you might think that there are certain blocks in the way or you might think you have some uh, certain healthy beliefs around things. But then the roots of those beliefs are very deep within. And when you learn how to awaken and attune into the awareness around those, you're able to confront them. And confront is a really scary word for most women that I've discovered because it's entangled with this word called conflict. And confronting is very separate to, con to conflict. Confront is about the opportunity to look directly at, no more denial, no more hiding, no more avoiding. It's about looking directly at and shining light on it because what happens when you shine light on something? the dark disappears. And most of us are running away from these parts of ourselves from the shadow aspect um, because of these root belief systems about I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy enough, I'm not lovable, there's something wrong with me, um, I'm afraid of being rejected, I'm afraid of whatever it is. It's a very fear-based aspect that's really deeply cellular for every, every human being until you awaken to these programs. And so the, the course of the journey of awakening is start with the awakening component and then being equipped with the tools to be able to have that connection with your deep heart intelligence and tuning back into your intuition, which is your greatest superpower. When you're connected with your intuition, you are able to really allow yourself to be that sovereign guide from in, from within, to be able to make your choices. And I'm going to share something with you. And this is really probably going to sound a little grave for, for many of you, and it might be a bit confronting, but I want to let you know into a, a real shift in what's happening in reality right now. And you, I know that you see it, but maybe you don't want to necessarily connect with it, but I'm going to invite you to connect with it so you can be empowered and make the shift. And the thing is that we're in a paradigm in the world right now where we are going through an evolution and you are either going to go through the evolution in a revolutionary way or you are going to experience a lot more suffering and be at the at the effect of everything going on rather than being at the actual cause of creating what it is that you want to create for your life. So I'm here. I'm really passionate about driving this mission and the message of helping you to be empowered with awakening your own 
um, self to your core consciousness, that shift in consciousness, connecting with your intuition, connecting with your heart intelligence, so that you can then be um, the sovereign of your own life, reclaim back your power, step into a motion where it allows you to be able to be in alignment with what is your true core values and your priorities in life. And now that's a whole nother conversation to have, but I'll get there with that in another in, in a, another uh, another video. The next step is when you start awakening to these concepts, these beliefs, these core programs that require to have a shift metaphysically and spiritually for you to have a shift in consciousness, when you do that and you're in alignment, you now have access to life force energy that is able to flow through you with a lot more ease, grace and joy. And guess what happens when we do that? We can create spontaneous healing. We can create we can create a, re, a deeper connection with ourselves. Our body has a chance to really rejuvenate and regenerate and, and reconnect um, and, and shape shift and step into a place where it can operate at its highest level. Our subconscious mind runs most runs the entire body, not most of it all of it, right? You don't sit here while you're listening to me thinking, okay, heart, you need to beat, you know, you need lungs, you need to breathe, bladder, you need to store urine and hold the sphincter so I don't actually pee my pants while I'm standing here. You don't have to think all these things, right? Stomach, you have to digest food right now. Blood cells, you need to divide. Other blood cells, you need to die to make room. <laughs> and like, there's all these things going on. There's trillions of activities happening at all the time. And it's your subconscious mind, which is the superpower computer that allows your body to operate. Now, what corrupts the, the operation of that and gets you in dis-ease are beliefs. And those beliefs are fundamentally rooted by the exposure that you've had in life to what you have been modelled about the world view of life, the programs that have come down through your genealogy, what you've experienced in your environment growing up and also as an adult and everything that you've made it to mean. That then becomes this stacking accountability of what these beliefs are and those beliefs are what driving you, not your choices. And so I want you to be aware that awakening to these belief systems allows you to then be in a better position for healing mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially. How many of you have some really dysfunctional beliefs around money? You know, I, I did, and I still have to be very aware of witnessing those money beliefs that pop up because I'm like, wow, is this mine or is this somebody else's belief? Because this isn't something that's related to me, but I might have adapted or adopted to pick that belief up and then start right, believing that for myself and creating from that belief in my own life, usually creating a restriction around money, right? And so my connection with you is about really ultimately beliefs are what are going to either empower us or disempower us. And when you are awakening to those beliefs, you can then create some real shifts in healing for yourself on every level. And then that will be manifesting in your reality as you see it. Now, here's another key thing that I hear a lot. I will believe it when I see it. And the thing is, you need to be, you need to be aware that it's the other way around. I will see it when I believe it. Because if you don't believe something is possible for you, if you don't believe that you're worthy of something, if you don't believe that you deserve something, if you don't believe that you're enough, if you don't believe that you can do something, if you don't believe that you can commit to and follow through with something, then you are going to fulfill and manifest that belief. But on the other side of that, if you believe it is possible because somebody else can do it, that means you can do it. If you believe that you are worthy, if you believe that you are a divine being of love and light, if you believe that you can do spontaneous healing within yourself and others, you can. If you believe that you can create whatever you want to create and that you're the master or, or the mistress or the queen bee of your life, right, then you are. And so it really starts fundamentally with beliefs, so awakening to what those beliefs are. And if you have corrupt beliefs, which we all do, right? If we're human, that's part of the journey of awakening. The journey of awakening is looking at what are those beliefs that no longer serve me. They might have very briefly at a short period of time during an event in your earlier life. Maybe some of those beliefs kept you safe. But if you're still operating from those beliefs now, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years later, because you're subconsciously looking for the threat and wanting to position yourself to be safe all the time, then you're operating out of fear not love. And you want to shift your paradigm to a whole love frequency in order for you to have that shift in consciousness. And when you have that shift, that allows you to really truly connect with 
infinite wisdom, infinite knowledge, infinite resources that are available to you and you really become the, the master manifester of your own life. You can't manifest from manifesting, requesting stuff at that back end. You have to go and do the inner work. And just going to see this here right now. It's not available yet at the time of me shooting this, but I have the Awaken Woman program. And the whole reason I designed that was because of my own experience of many years of, of you know, doing all the, the learning, the training. I've also had innate gifts throughout my life, and I know every single one of you do too. But I had those suppressed, like many of you. I had many of my intuitive gifts suppressed for beliefs around it's the devil inside of you and all the dogma that goes with that but the thing is my journey of my experience helped me awaken to that and for me that that it would be different for you maybe but for me it was very much I was uh, I, I'm super manifestor at anything I want to create and if you've ever done um, Roger Hamilton's Wealth Dynamics I am an innovator intuitive I'm a I'm a creator with the wings of both the star and the mechanic now what that means what that means is that I have the ability to download a heck of a load of information and be very super creative. And I have the ability to communicate and enroll people into that vision, enroll people into um, empowering themselves with, with that information and that creativity. But also I have the ability of the systems and the support and the implementation with the mechanic side. So that's a pretty exceptional experience to have to bring this all this information together. But I didn't own it for a long time, up until a few years ago. And the reason why is because I had been manifesting everything in success in any area of my life that I liked, career and health and, um, you know, all the other areas. My one challenge area, as probably is true for many of you, was relationships, intimate relationships. And in the past I was... I was connecting with the same type of man, different face, but it was what I called the charm and harm, the real narcissist, <laughs> the sociopath slash psychopath. And I would go through these experiences until three years ago when I drew a line in the sand and I said, enough. And it was at that point where I really dug deeper and looking at the belief systems that were subconscious for me that were driving the, those choices every single time because I'd go, but I didn't choose that, I didn't choose that. But the blueprint was still there because I hadn't really confronted that aspect of myself that I really needed to shift and transform and, and transcend into a different operation, uh, op way of being. And so... What the gift was for me out of all of that, because I know many of you have experienced that and some of you are probably still trying to find the answers. You're a human being. We're naturally wired to want to understand what's going on. But one of the great gifts about having those types of relationships is an opportunity to up-level, to reflect and review and refine my, the relationship that I have with myself, the relationship that I have with the world, my relationships that I have with others, is stepping into a place where I'm really, really shifting my, my beliefs and my operating system about who I am, what I value, what I stand for, what my life is about, and, you know, stepping into that life purpose and fulfilling my soul's calling. And I know that many of you are, uh, are looking for that and seeking for that for yourself. And if you're looking for permission, you don't need anyone's permission. It's just something you step into and you say yes, yes to. And I'm inviting you to say yes, yes now and start that journey or continue that journey because you've already started it, whether you wanted it or not. The thing is you can either avoid trying, you can try to avoid stepping into that and really shining your light, but it will hurt a lot more then if you just step in, lean into that light, lean into that mission that your soul is calling you forward to and awaken to all the old programmings that need to be deleted, they, they're corrupt, right? They need to be deleted, they need to be overwritten and write, writing new programs that support you for the healing of your life in every aspect, emotionally, mentally, physically, uh, energetically and financially, mentally, making sure that you are in that alignment with your true self and your true north so that you can then manifest at warp speed and let go of the how, okay? Let go of the how you're going to manifest. That's that's trying to control it all. Let go of the outcome. Just get really clear on what it is that you're choosing and be aware that you can always choose again. You don't have, you never stop. Most people feel like that they're limited with choices, but you're not stuck. You have choice, and when it comes to freedom financially, I want to just lay this one down. This is going to go into a deeper topic in another one. There is a massive shift happening globally at the moment, and it's been happening for, for quite a while, but it's really accelerating. Can you feel it? 
Can you feel it? Let me know down below if you know that you can feel it too. Now, the thing is with what we need to do, I'm going to, I'm going to invite you. I, met, I have for the last 13 years of my life, and for those of you who are brand new, before my previous life I was personal trainer and paramedic. I've studied in chiropractic psychology and I'm also an NLP master practitioner and hypnotherapist amongst a, a couple of dozen of certifications. But at the end of the day, what I am is a light leader, I'm an empath, I'm a healer, I'm a spiritual teacher, and I am a freedom maker. So one of the things I love to do and teach is share how I created financial freedom for myself over and over and over um, from leaving a job which was in an industry that was really, you know, hurting. Interesting enough, I was out healing and helping people, but it was actually draining the life force out of me. And so learning how to create this digital diva aspect of like, you know, really learning the skills of how to share what it is that I have to offer to the world via online medium that allows me to have a much bigger reach. I want to invite you. I know that many of you already have your own business or you're wanting to start your own business you're exploring that for an online aspect. Some of you are saying, nope, I only want to work for someone else. And that's okay. However, I want to invite you to understand this. The way the world is going, if you do not learn the skills or learn the, um, the, the overarching element of the skills so that you can outsource and, and coordinate and uh, organise all that information for yourself, you're going to be in a really big pickle very, very soon. And I'm not saying that to scare you or threaten you or, or with fear. However, I'm saying what is a real reality that I can, I can see where it's going and I want you to have that heads up now. Now, don't panic because there's, there's lots of opportunities and if I'm not the person for you that resonates to connect with learning those skills, find someone who is. But I do have the opportunity for you to learn and connect with a lot of the skills. But it requires you, first and foremost, to create that awakening aspect, really tuning into the emotional intelligence of you so you're not operating from your overthinking mind, the over-analytical mind, because when you're doing that, you are disconnecting from your intuitive source. And intuition is about having that cognitive knowing without needing to have this conscious explanation around it. And how many of you have had intuitive hits and they've been so bang on? And how many of you have had intuition, red flags, and you ignored it and it got you off line, out of line, right? It got you off it got you into a, a in a state where you're like, oh, God, this sucks. And I knew it. I knew it. But you didn't listen to it. My invitation to you is start tuning into your intuition. And again, the Awaken Woman program, which isn't available yet, uh, but I will be opening the opportunity to invite some of you to join us in the next live group coaching with that one. It's a six week um, hyper fast facilitation process of, of really helping you debunk a lot of these old beliefs on every area of your life, but it runs parallel with also a blueprint, a step-by-step -step blueprint that helps you to really remap your life the way that you want to consciously do it in alignment with your sovereign self. Now, the thing is, one of the key things that comes up a lot for people, and this is a program, this is a belief, to talk about awakening. I'm going to give you a core one that really, really keeps people stuck. If you ever, cat or have you ever caught yourself saying in your head or out loud, I know that. Drop a comment down below if you ever have or just thumbs up or something. Let me know if you've ever had that experience. And if you're watching the replay, just do the same. But if you ever use the word I know that, I want to invite you to become a witness to that and just shape shift that one really quickly because you want to ask yourself, am I applying it and am I applying it consistently and am I applying it consistently in the organised way required to get the outcome or the result that I'm after? Because you know what, if you're chasing around for shiny object syndrome, looking for more knowledge all the time, and then you're like dismissing something because you're shutting your mind down because you go, I already know that, then you're missing the key piece, which is the ability to organize the information that provides the value, the power for that knowledge to be duplicated for a result. Knowledge itself is not power. Knowledge is just knowledge. It's the organization of that knowledge that allows you in a step-by-step -step system that allows you to really connect with creating an outcome. Nikki says, knowing and implementing are two different things. Absolutely. And also knowing and implementing consistently with the feedback and then doing it again and feedback and do that. Kara says, yes, I know that, smart ass. 
<laughs> so the, the the thing is as well, I mean, there are a whole bunch of root system beliefs that often go in underneath that one, and it's something that I address a lot in the Awaken Woman program. But I just want to seed the thought for you that there's a possibility for you to join us in the near future. Um, and if you want to, I'll, I'll drop the link for the, um, the wait list to be first notified when um, I am opening the opportunity for, to be invited to join us. It doesn't mean that you're obligated to join us um, and, it, and you might not, well, most of you will, right? Um, but I do screen it. I, I am very, very particular about making sure that the purity of the energy in the group and the intention of every person who's coming in with the commitment to have that the, the revolution of self to be able to be part of that community because it's an incredible community. And um, something I like to say is that like one drop of cyanide makes the water undrinkable. And we just, I will not tolerate anyone who is not a right fit for that group. Um, and it might be that it just, it, it might, and there has been on occasion the wrong fit, right? And so I've, I've had to go through and manage that and, and create some new filters in, in, in place, which is what I'm doing. But there's also been, sometimes it's just not the right timing. So, um, I, I work from a place where I trust and know that the right people will be called in. And if you feel like you are even got a sense of intuitive curiosity for this, just simply either when I put the link up, put your name into that list, um, into the wait list, or reach out to me and, ask, and just ask to have a chat with me. Um, but first and foremost, it's an opportunity for you to be able to get that information first when I reopen the doors. And the whole, the Awaken Woman program is all about taking you on that journey to really truly awakening um, and connecting with those, uh, confronting with the beliefs that have been holding you back. I facilitate in the live group training, I, I facilitate doing energetic block clearings in a whole group environment. I do it remotely. Those of you who have already done it with me, I know that it's always a big wow experience and the ladies keep repeating with me because it's so much fun. Um, and it's a revolutionary way of doing healing. You don't need to um, go through therapy, story therapy for years and years and years, right? They uh, have a gift of seeing energy in people's systems and, you know, whatever you tell me is your symptom, I can tell you very quickly what is the root cause. And we go and deal with that. We shift the energy around that and it naturally releases the symptoms and it releases the opportunity for, uh, for energy and life force to flow through you again as well. And then when you're in that alignment, you now have a blueprint that you can go and map across into your world as well. You've got a guide, a framework that you is like the science of it, but then you have the artistic expression of what is true for you. So that's an opportunity that's coming up and I'll explain more with you soon. And Nikki says, as you should, choosing who you work with. Thank you. Yes. Yes, and I, it, everyone should be doing that. But again, if you feel like, like if you are working with anyone else and you feel like you're just taking anybody in or if you um, coming from the operation of um, feeling like, you know, you, you need to take somebody's, um, take someone in because you need the money, then I'm going to, I'm going to invite you that you need a, a whole paradigm shift because I know even from experience, um, having done that when 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 i have done that in the past where i've actually taken somebody on who begged to be part of a, of a high level mentoring program they were so um disruptive and corruptive energetically to the whole system i had to pull back me to reprogram me and going through a whole experience and it robbed everybody else in the in the groups of my energy and my attention and, and, and the ability and time to facilitate their healing. So my learning in that experience is I'm going to pass it on to you and say be really selective who you work with. Define who very clearly who you work with. And this isn't just like I'm really going into a big lesson here, but this isn't just who you work with. It's who you choose to hang out with, who you choose to be in a relationship with, whether it's a personal intimate relationship or whether it's a friendship, you must be really clear about who you are before you can even figure out who you want to um, energetically align with. And most people haven't done that in a work yet. And so they're bumping around and then everybody's con, you know, conflicts are coming up and it's a really very difficult way to actually learn your life lessons. And so I'm offering you a new paradigm shift, an alternative way to that in the Awaken Woman program. So again, I'll drop the I'll drop the link down in um, the comment box, and you can go join the waitlist or reach out to me and ask some questions. 
But in the meantime, I just want to really say welcome to the Awaken Woman Revolution. This is a movement. This is a, an opportunity where you are part of this. You know, there's a plenty of dark in the world and there's plenty of shadows within ourselves. And the only way to get um, to overcome those is to shine your light. And light emits the, like it revokes the shadow, right? And so I'm here to help you clear all the energy blocks that prevent your light from shining. And I'm going to do that in many ways and provide a ton of value here, probably more value than most people charge for in their experiences. And then I've also got some um, programs that I take you on a deeper journey that takes you through the, to the systematic approach with those. So when you're ready, if it resonates with you and you're excited about working with me and working in this community with many of these other beautiful ladies here, then you have that opportunity when the invitations are open for you to join us in any one of those programs. But it starts first with the Awaken Woman program. I know from my experience, I've, I've travelled the world, seven continents, 58 countries, some of those multiple times. Some of you know my background very well, some of you don't. But I'm going to just really focus here in saying that I've, inv I've invested over half a million dollars in my own life path, my own life journey, in my university of life, in, in, tra in traveling and training and, and um, mentoring. And a lot of the programs that I've been to, is always, it's always um, been fascinating to me to watch how many people don't implement the strategies. And yet, you know, most of the time I do and I'm off and I'm running. And I've always been a master manifester of everything that I pretty much put my attention and energy to that is in alignment with me. And the same is true for you. But the thing is, if you're not getting the manifesting the results that you want, it's most likely you're out of alignment. You're trying to force something that isn't really true for you. But my point here with this is that that is part of the experience of not having the emotional mastery first. And it's really important that you have that real depth of that of, of the mind mindset but it's more the mindset it's energy set because we have energy blocks in our physical body in our energetic body thoughts are part of the mindset thoughts are energy and it's part of the nervous system right but you also have these other energies that when they are when they're not when they're disconnected out of alignment when they're ignored they become like hardened if metaphorically metaphysically and physically in your body that manifests in that way that blocks the flow of energy in your life and so when you learn to clear those and I facilitate that clearing in a rapid way with the Awake Woman program then you've got not only the mindset but you've got the clearing of energy so you've got the flow of energy of life plus the blueprint on how to create consciously create your life design your life and live your dreams on your terms is that really exciting if you're listening to this and you're really excited please give me some love back because I'm here to really serve you at the highest level possible. I have been working so much on myself even more and more and more and more and more in the last couple of months, more so than I have in the last three years. And it's constant for me and in the last, you know, decades of my life. But I have just been clearing in such a way so that I can step up and have everything systematized and really truly serve you to help you wake up. We need you to shine your light. This is not about me in this group. I'm here to facilitate the leadership in the beginning, but I'm inviting all of you to step up and light up and start leading and start being in a place where you can really be of service here and really connect with everybody to be able to really pro provide a, an energetic, you know, tsunami wave in this conscious shift. And I'm inviting you to join that. Hi, Kathy. Lovely to see you joining us from Spain. So I am so grateful. I am honoured to be um, here and, and being a guide in your journey, a, a tour guide in your soul adventure. And Yes, yes. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and I, I am going to be doing a lot more regular lives. I've been building out a, um, a, a video library for you. If you go to the welcome post, there is also a free gift from me to you, which includes my Awaken Daily 8 Rituals for Success e-guide. It's instantly downloadable. It'll go to your inbox as soon as you register for it. Plus, there's a bonus meditation that I was I channeled when I was in Bali recently in May with my ladies and Karis who are here on the call. Um, I I channeled this. I, I was woken up at like three o'clock in the morning, and it wasn't even my son kicking me this time. But I was woken up, and I felt very guided by spirit. And I and I went out, and sat out by the pool, had this beautiful pool, 
Um, uh, it was it was dark and I could hear the water running. I could hear the, the cicadas and whatever they were, the cricket cicadas, leaping off in the background. And um, I just hear this sense of do your morning meditation and record it. And I had literally just woken up, so I had this really deep voice. <laughs> but um, I just I just channeled what came through. And then when I finished that, it was 3.33 a.m. in the morning. And I hear this, you need to share this with the world. And so the, the real beauty is the opportunity. It's 11 minutes. It's crazy. It, I, I didn't, I just channeled it, right? I didn't plan it. I didn't do anything. So go get that free gift from me. Um, it includes a seven day series of emails from me that really help you unpack or really reconnect a little bit deeper with each one of those um, uh, gifts for your rituals that help you really kickstart your day for new possibilities. So please go ahead and grab that. And um, I'll even drop the link down here in the comment box so you don't have to go searching for this one later. Um, and make sure that you show up. Let me know what content you want to hear and receive. I'm going to do a fairly broad range of content with re relating to belief change work, to um, energetic shifts, and also some real physicality, um, physical. I, I really love to teach the energetics behind business and marketing. It's something that a lot of people don't teach, but it's something else that I, when I when I work with my clients, I mean, I teach all the all the structure and the strategy and the systems. But what always needs to be cleared is the energy blocks. And it doesn't matter whether you use my strategies or my structures of what I teach you and how to create your business online or whether you have another um, system that you follow or another course that you follow, the, the energetics behind it are universal. So, um, I, and for those of you who are new, uh, I have the Awaken Woman program. That's my, my first fully big coaching program that I have uh, that opens up every now and then throughout the year. I'll be looking at making it a little bit more consistent, like time-wise each year as of 2020. Um, but that's the ground, that's the foundational step. And then you've got the opportunity to do Soul Goal Academy, which um, after you've gone the Awaken Woman program, which is about awakening and aligning with your blueprint for your life and your life purpose and clearing those energy blocks, we then go on a massive uh, momentum acceleration of those goals and going deeper into the energetics, the time and the money around all those energies and, the, and clearing the energy blocks around it to be able to have you in a systematized ability to be able to sequence your offers to the world, whether you work for someone else or work in your own business, and be able to really manifest faster in that one. I then also have my Quantum Leap Mastermind. It used to be mentoring. Um, I'm choosing to no longer do one-on-ones. Um, it's $25,000 US a year to work with me at one-on-one. -on -one. And while it's great, it's just not the best use of my time. And I really feel that I'm going to shift into masterminds to make it more available to financially for more people. So it will be less per month, but it's still a 12-month commitment. But it also, it, I really wanted to make sure I'm facilitating that that um, resource capacity and 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 the accountability capacity with everybody to be able to move forward with that momentum. That high level program is really very specified for women who have a, a message to bring to the market. I very I focus only on women who have a heart centered approach, spiritual centered approach. Um, and that's why you're in this group. Um, but again, I'm just giving you a bit of a vision of the journey of how you could potentially work with me. Um, I have available a very limited time only, so I'm opening up a few spots for one-on-one -on -one at 50% introduction rate to do a 30-minute balance call with me. The only way to access that is by getting that free gift from me and get on your download, you get that opportunity to book one of those very limited spots. <laughs> um, that won't be open for long because I prefer to work in a big group environment. I've facilitated up to 60 people on a live call doing energy block clearing before and it's a lot of fun. It's far more effective as far as my energy um, than, and time. So I'm not swapping time for money doing a, a very small amount. And it's not to discredit um, the, the value of helping you individually to shift is just that I, I really have a mission to shift the consciousness in millions, not just thousands, but millions. And so I'm inviting you to join the journey with me. Awaken, heal and manifest as part of the Awaken Woman Revolution. And if you have soul sisters that you know would be really excited to join you and us in this group, in this culture and in this movement, then please invite them to join us do not just add them to the group that is that goes against the integrity of how i i work i do not just spam people <laughs> 
you want to invite them. Just let them know that, hey, there's this wonderful group that's going on and this is what um, is available in there. Would you like me to invite you to the group? And then just wait for permission. And if they say yes, then send them the link. And if they say no, then honour that. Um, the other option too is to invite them to have the free download, which is the e-guide plus the meditation. When they get that, they'll have access themselves to join the group if it resonates with them. So if, is that really exciting to you all? Give me some love if it is. I am so grateful to you and this community, and I look forward to lighten up the space more for you, more consistently. Much love, light, and manifesting lots of magic. Have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.